Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about mindset. And what I mean by mindset is how to condition your brain and your mind to think in a way that you could become a web developer. Okay. The thing is, is that what the learning to develop is, is, is such a big undertaking. It's huge. It's massive. There's so many things out there you could learn and you could just bounce from one thing to the next. Um, you can, there's a way that you can actually get what's what I call shiny nickel syndrome. And I don't, I didn't make that up. A lot of people, uh, make that up. And it's basically where you're, you're in the midst of learning something and you see something shiny off over here. And so you take off over there and you learn that and you, you start to learn that. And then you see another shiny nickel and you're just running around picking up these nickels, but you never actually gain the knowledge before you run off to something else. Okay. So I want to discourage you from doing that. Just stick with the program, stick with this course, and you're going to learn everything that you need to know. Now, are you going to learn everything? No. I'm not even going to teach you everything in each section. I actually think it's better to teach you uh, what you need to know to build the project that we're working on, and then keep building upon that. It's more important to learn how to solve problems and how to find solution to your problems than it is to actually learn syntax or how to program or even uh, what programming languages you choose to use. Okay, so whether or not you want to use PHP or you, you think that's a dumb language, maybe you think it's old and outdated, or maybe you don't like Node.js, or maybe you don't like React, you would prefer Angular. Um, and the thing is, is it, that's not what's important to becoming a web developer. What's important is your ability to solve problems, your ability to learn, your ability to uh, kind of know how everything works at a high level so that when you're starting to learn a new technology, maybe you get a job that says, hey, we don't use React here, we use Angular. Okay, well, you will already know how to take on and learn something new uh, in, in, in an efficient way after going through this so that you can grab those new technologies or new programming languages and it's not going to be that big of a deal okay it'll take a little bit of a learning curve but you'll ultimately be successful at learning those as well the other thing i would encourage you to do is don't give up you know i'm going to say a lot of things that won't resonate with you maybe i'll say it in a way that just doesn't make sense but uh my goal is to do so much repetition and showing you different ways of things of things working that is going to eventually click okay so if, if you don't quite understand something when we're in that section don't give up just if you love it if you love doing this keep going don't ever give up if you have to rewatch some videos oh well if you have to redo a, a whole section or a chapter of this uh, course big deal ultimately i think this is going to take somebody who's very quick can do this in three to six months Someone who's a little slower, it might take you a year. But look, people go to college for this for four years. And I know from experience, my son's going through it right now. He's two years into a four-year degree uh, to be for computer science. And he doesn't really know anything about web development. He hasn't really learned anything, okay? So you're going to be ahead of the curve. I'm not saying college is bad or that you shouldn't go to college. I'm just saying, like, hey, you don't need to go to college. And you don't need to go to college to get a job doing this. Maybe... Uh, you're in the United States even, and you think you need a degree. Well, look, I'm here to tell you, look, I don't have a degree. I've been doing this for seven years professionally in, in a company getting paid the same as the guys who got a college degree, okay? So you can do it. Um, and the other thing I would say about your mindset is that you have, you have to believe that you could do this. That's the biggest thing is belief. And see, I'm going to kind of rip this off from Tony Robbins. I'm not a big Tony Robbins fan, but this makes a lot of sense. So if you, um, if you start off something with a little bit of belief, you're going to take a little bit of action. And if you take a little bit of action, you're going to get only a small amount of results, which is going to diminish your belief. And you're going to take a little bit less action, have a little bit less belief, and you're going to, that cycle is going to continue to where you have no belief at all that you can do this. But what I'm here to tell you is start with belief. Start with a massive belief that you can do this. Tell yourself that every day. You can do this. You're just as smart as everyone else. Listen, I'm one of the dumbest people you're ever going to meet, okay? I live in the middle of the United States. I'm not very intelligent, um, but I have something called perseverance, and I don't give up. 
when I want to learn something, I'm stubborn. And I encourage you to do the same thing and start with massive belief that you can do anything. And because you'll start with massive belief, you're going to take massive action. And if you take massive action, you're going to get results, which is going to enhance your belief. And that that will also spiral bigger and bigger and bigger to where you know you know that you know that you can do this. And then you're going to walk into a career and get yourself into a better situation than you're in right now. Okay? So that's the mindset to step into this entire journey. Start with belief. Believe that you can do it. And don't give up. Okay? I believe in you. Let's go.